Hello, my name is Michael Chadwick, and this is a presentation on the general studies courses that we that we have taken uh, throughout our time here at Clear Creek. If I were to ask you if you uh, have ever been in a class that seemed to be like a waste of your time, uh, I'm really confident that every single person would automatically think of at least one class that they've been in um, that they felt like it was a waste of their time they didn't want to be there uh, and really if if you're like me <laughs> that one or even several classes maybe for some of us um, are really the general courses classes but what if I told you that you can glean a lot from these classes? Now, it may not be part of the curriculum that you're uh, being taught, but you can, can in fact, learn a lot from these classes. And uh, I will give you some examples in my time with these general studies classes. Uh, so enjoy. The first example I want to tell you about is my time uh, with the class that is called Western Civilization. And now I did not take this class at Clear Creek Baptist College. I took it at West Kentucky Community and Technical College, which with just by that you may be asking why I'm including this presentation, especially since, you know, this is a Clear Creek presentation. But the answer is because I learned probably the most in this class, and it taught me a lot about what ministry is going to be like. Uh, my teacher was a humanist. Uh, he was arrogant, but he was actually rightly criticizing the church for how they acted in, the, in that era, uh, mainly all the corruption. Uh, the, this class taught me a lot about Western civilization, sure. But uh, I learned so much more in that class. I learned the worldview of the humanists better. I was better to, uh, I was able to better understand their views, why they believed them. Uh, in even just see what they actually do believe. Uh, I was able to learn what some people thought of the church. Uh, I was a better able to see uh, even some hypocrites <laughs> in some cases as well. Uh, a lot of people who thought that they were saved that, but actually were not. I was able to see a lot of that. I also learned what people are going through in life. I learned a little bit of everything in that class actually. Uh, from the curriculum to basic uh, just basic needs that people have as well and to be honest to this day this has been one of the best general studies classes that I've been in uh, now we're gonna go into philosophy I did take this uh, class at Clear Creek uh, but what can I say about that First of all, I I really did not like the class. It was my first online class, but I did learn quite a bit uh, from uh, the curriculum and outside the curriculum from that class as well. Uh, I learned a lot of the different worldviews that I did not know very much beforehand. Uh, I learned more about Plato and Socrates and, and some of the others. Uh, that I did not even know before as well. So as far as philosophy goes, um, it, it really helped me a lot. And also, uh, we'll get into this a little bit later, probably in the next slide, but it helped me um, quite a bit in outside of the curricular uh, ones as well. Also, the assignments that I did in this class actually it helped my reading quite a bit as well. Uh, it helped my reading, helped my reading comprehension, and uh, it helped me in that area of study as well. 
it is important to know that both of these classes actually helped me greatly with my studies, uh, both in my entire college career and here at Clear Creek. Uh, with Western Civilization, I had, I had had been to one college already. I did terrible there. Now that was a mixture of a couple different things. Me not turning things in, me not going to class whenever I was sick, but was really not sick enough to miss. Uh, and bad performances at the end of the semester, which really was the final grade in those classes. I was a music major, and at the end of the semester we would do our juries. What those are, uh, are pretty much, uh, you work toward a piece of music throughout the whole semester and then your final grade in that class is how well are you able to perform that piece of music with some scales and with some sight reading as well and I, every musician has their good days and their bad days all my bad days seemed to be on the final days uh, but that but that was in part to the fact that I was running away from God and he was trying to get me to come down here and I was being stubborn. Needless to say I really needed to restart everything. I needed to restart. I needed to go somewhere else. Uh, at that point I didn't know about Clear Creek so I didn't know what I was going to do. Uh, and Western Civilization was the first was really the first class that I took that I felt like I could handle college. I can handle everything that was put on my table. I was able to perform under stress. Uh, the class taught me more about time management than anything to that date so far. Uh, it was a much needed class for me, especially at that point in my life. Now with philosophy, uh, it came at a critical time at Clear Creek. I had already stayed longer here than any of my colleges that I've been to in the past. Uh, I was continually trying to work my GPA up to where I knew it should be. Uh, my GPA whenever I came here was not good and technically it's still not good but it is getting better and I keep on uh, trying to improve that as much as I possibly can. I was beginning to, at this point, change my philosophy about my classwork as well, where I stopped looking at it as purely classwork and busy work and start looking at it as what can I learn uh, in this class to help build my ministry? What does God want me to learn in this? And that, that if, whenever I started looking at classes like that, it actually helped me quite a bit in my class and my in my Christian walk as well but I still needed work on my time management this class helped a ton in that aspect being my first online class it, it showed me that I could do online classes and little did I, did I know I was going to finish my last year uh, online at Clear Creek so this class was actually a gateway for me to be able to do what I am doing here today. Now the question is, uh, how will these two classes help me in my ministry? Uh, it is my belief that both of these classes will in fact uh, help me in my ministry, if not the curriculum, which very possible the curriculum, but uh, the outside things as well. I think they will do this, uh, help me in the ministry in two ways. First one is my time management, and the second one is to understand other worldviews better that I did not know beforehand. Uh, now, you uh, will go a little bit more in detail on what I mean by these. First, the time management. With all the assignments in both of these classes, on top of all the paper, all the other papers and exegeticals in the other classes, depending on where I was, 
I was on my toes constantly with the workload. I was, it seemed like <laughs> I was in over my head. There were some weeks that I had seemingly had to seemingly create more hours in a day than there was in order to complete everything that I needed to do. I'm sure <laughs> most of y'all I feel the same way with the papers that we have to do now. It was during philo the philosophy semester that I had started using a day-by-day -day planner for my classwork. That helped greatly. It still helps greatly. Uh, but it would have never happened, most likely, if it were not for these two classes. It helped me uh, write down all of the assignments I had to do. It helped me with uh, writing down the, my work schedule and the place of work that I was at and also helped me write down um, the times that I was going to be preaching and uh, how to go about study for that week as well. All those wrapped up, uh, it helped greatly and it still helps today and hopefully after this. Now on the second one, understanding uh, other worldviews better. Uh, I was able to understand the humanist uh, worldview a lot better considering I had that first hand uh, interaction with my professor. He he would profess his uh, views in class so I was better able to understand where he was coming from and be able to better understand um, what the humanists actually believe and not just hear it from books or, or anything like that. I was able to read about what Plato and Socrates and all the other philosophers that we've read about, uh, not only what their philosophy was, but what they believed in God as well. And like I keep on saying, they were both very eye-opening to uh, what the outside world believes, and it helped and that's going to help me tremendously in my ministry. Now in conclusion, I could have talked about these general studies classes and my bad experiences with the ones that I took, but I didn't want to do that. I chose a couple that really stuck out in my mind and talked about what I actually learned in these classes. Uh, once again, not necessarily the curriculum, but the outside of the curriculum of what I learned in these things. The important thing to glean from all of this uh, in this presentation is that you can learn anything in any class. But the question is, are you willing to search for it and apply it to your other classes and your ministry? Uh, I've clearly made my decision it is up to you to make your own decision but let me just tell you uh, right now you can learn what if nothing else you can learn time management you can learn uh, putting up with things that you don't want to go through because uh, you're going to have those times in ministry as well uh, you will you can learn a lot from class, from these general studies classes, but once again the question, are you willing to search for it and apply it to your classes and ministry? Thank you.